Hello, my name is Maya, or Miss Horsucker. I am really happy to be here today since it's October, and I'm really excited about the holiday at the end of the month called Halloween. So we're gonna do some fun fall themed and mostly Halloween themed yoga poses today. Make sure that you are in a space where you can move and be safe at the same time. So you're not gonna bump into anyone or anything or knock anything over. And also make sure you come ready to try some new things and be a little silly. Put a smile on your face, take a deep breath. And let's have fun. Here we go. Our first pose is called vampire. So we stand up and be a vampire with a really big, long cloak. You have to stand with your feet together and your body's nice and tall and being very proud. And vampires have those long cloaks, so you can pretend to swish your long cloak behind you and maybe stand up on your tippy toes like you're ready to fly. Let's do one more swish. Ready? Swish. Oh, nice job. Oh, I'm swished right over. Now, this month in October, there are two full moons. So we're gonna do a moon pose two times. There's the harvest moon, which happened at the beginning of the month. So reach up, press your hands together, and reach over to the side, stretching, making a round shape. Imagine that you're gonna make a full circle. Good, and then we're gonna make the hunter's moon, which is at the end of the month on Halloween. So go to the other side, breathe in and out, stretching and rounding your body, making part of a circle that will eventually be full. Nice job. And let's do that vampire swish again. Whoosh. Excellent. Now, if you were a witch on Halloween, you might need to ride a broomstick. So you're gonna pretend to have a broomstick and be sitting low on your broomstick. Good, sit back. Look behind you, see if your cat is back there. Look the other side, there she is. Good, and then reach your arms up and sit lower. Hold on to your broom. And swish side to side like you're flying through the air. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Oh, yes. All right, here we go. Ready to land. Now that we're on the ground, we have to cast some spells like a witch or a wizard. So put your feet out really wide. Bend your front knee. This is warrior two, but we're gonna pretend it's wizard pose. So we've got our wand in the front. We're gonna swish it around. Yeah, cast the spell. Whoosh. Be gone. Disappear. Very good. Let's go the other side. Oh no, switch and jump. Here we go. Bend that knee. Get your wand ready. And whoosh, be gone. And whoosh. Aloha Mora, unlock the door. Very good, witches and wizards. Nice work. But guess what? Here comes a huge monster. It's so big. Press your feet out to the side, pointing your toes out. Reach your arms up like a big scary monster. Show your claws. Get ready to stomp and roar. You can roar with your tongue out like this. That way it's not too loud. Here we go. Stomp and roar. Stop those feet, kick them out. Two more. Oh, that was a very scary monster. It was so scary that it scared away the ghost that's nearby and it's leaving the haunted house. Let's do haunted house first. Feet out, arms all the way up. Point your hands up like a big, tall, scary haunted house. And close your eyes. It's very scary in there. Look around. Ooh. Okay, close your eyes. Reach up tall. Good, haunted houses. Whew. Let's see if those ghosts left. The ghosts can fly sideways through the air. So we're gonna come onto one foot, reach our arms out like we're a flying ghost. Reach your other foot back and fly through the air. Good, you can put your foot down to help you balance a little bit and try again. Flying ghost, we'll get one thing to scare that ghost away. Really stare it down. Wow. Oh, okay. We gotta stare down one more ghost. Start on our other leg this time. Might feel different on the other side. Reach your arms out like a ghost. Stare down that ghost. Look directly at it. 
Yeah, there you go. Breathe. Good ghost. Float your leg. Ooh. Very good. Scary ghosts. Oh, thank goodness we have our companion with us, the black cat. Witches and wizards love their black cats. So let's come into cat pose on your hands and knees. You're gonna tuck your head down and around your back like a kitty. And meow. Yeah, and stretch your back side to side. And look forward. Good, and then round your back again. Meow. Like you're gonna rub up against the human friend or the witch and wizard friend. Oh, and the cat sees something that it's ready to pounce on. It's a spider. Let's come into spider pose. Come on into spider pose, sit on your bottom. I'm gonna put your feet out kind of wide with your knees bent, arms between your knees. Then they creep, crawl, creep, crawl, creep, crawl underneath your legs. And crawl, creep, crawl over onto your feet or your ankles or wherever they rest. Now we're in spider pose, wiggle your Spider fingers and your spider toes. We've got lots of legs. Good. And wobble like a spider. Getting ready to weave its web. Big, big, big cobwebs. Really big cobwebs. And corner those cobwebs reach from corner to corner. So reach one hand out to the corner and the other hand out. And then reach your cobweb foot and your cobweb foot. Like a big cobweb taking up the whole corner. Reach out. Reach out. And, oh, oh, that's a big pop web. On our way out from the haunted house, we hear a slithery sound of a poisonous snake. Oh no, here's the snake. Come on to your belly. Zip your legs up like a snake tail. Put your hands under your shoulders and wiggle side to side like a snake. Back, forth, back, forth. Yeah, good. Here we go, we're gonna press all the way up and hiss on three. Breathe in, one, two, three. Good, and try to lift your body off the floor. Use your hands and your feet, really lift up. Reach your ears away from your shoulders. Good, snakes. Let's do one more hiss. Wiggle side to side, get ready on one. Breathe in, two, three. Beautiful job, wonderful snakes. Oh, those are very scary snakes. Wow, I'm glad we got out of the house. And right on the edge of the house, we see the friendly and scary, smiling and wailing pumpkins. So come onto your seat and bring your knees in. Wrap your arms around like you're a round pumpkin. We're gonna hide our head and then on three, make a scary face. Or a happy face, whichever one you want for your jack-o'-lantern. Okay, so hide your head down. One, two, three. <laughs> wow, that was scary. Oh my gosh. All right, let's do another one. Hide your head. One, two, three. Also kind of scary. <laughs> Last one. One, two, three. Whoa, that was very scary. Let's rock and roll like a pumpkin. Ready to go down the steps. Rock. And a roll. And a rock. And one more roll. Oh, wow. That was great. After all that exploring and seeing those crazy scary things, I need to lay down and take a little rest. We're going to uh, Frankenstein lay down. Ready? Feet out. Reach for your toes first. And then like a Frankenstein or a zombie, we're going to lay slowly down. Very slow. Very, very, very slow. All the way. Low. Keeping our feet on the floor. And there we go. And now we can rest our arms in our graveyard slumber. With our feet out, our arms out, and our eyes can be relaxed. And our forehead is relaxed. And our bones, our skeleton bones, are gently laid still. We take a few breaths because we can. 
and another. Good, and then wrap your skeleton bones into your body. Give yourself a nice fleshy hug, side to side. And roll to one side, gently, cautiously, sitting up. And it's all safe again. Wonderful job. We're gonna take a few big, full moon breaths, making the shape of the moon above our heads. So sit up nice and tall. If you're crisscrossed applesauce or in a chair, shoulders away from your ears, reach out. Full moon and howl gently. Like a wolf. Breathe in and howl. One more, breathe in. Ooh. Lovely job. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed all of these fun and silly poses. What other poses could you do? If you have an idea, add it below. There's so many fun themed poses we could do for this month. I'd love to hear about your creativity. Please comment, like, share, and I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye.